All right, Rebel EM followers, Salim Rezaia here. Now, recently I put out a short, not even 24 hours ago, on heat exhaustion versus heat stroke. And I wrote one of the key differences is that there's diaphoresis present in heat exhaustion and it is absent in heat stroke. And someone wrote me back within not even 30 minutes of posting this that you can still have diaphoresis in heat stroke. The comment that was made is 100% true. You guys keep coming with the post publication peer review because this is exactly what it's all about and getting information right. I will say when I made this infographic, I was talking about classic heat stroke. They often present with hot, dry skin because of failure of their normal sweating response, but not all of them will. Additionally, exertional heat stroke, like athletes, tend to not have a lack of diaphoresis and instead can have diaphoresis after stopping exercise. A better way for me to have maybe written this particular short is that I should have written diaphoresis is usually absent in heat stroke.